our video by Black Unicorn Fan Fictions. Kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully. I'm that beach. You all are jealous of. Wife of your bias. Never mind. Let me give you some boring details about my life. I was living a happy life with strict parents and an annoying sibling. My luck did a backflip and got lost from my life. And my parents lost their business because of blah blah. Think about something on your own. They asked for someone's help. Who was none other than John Jungkook, most feared mafia in our country. But he had a deal. He demanded to marry me. My parents got extremely happy with the thought that they can save their business and get rid of their headache. Me. So they happily sacrificed me. I am a pro fan fiction reader. Initially, I thought Jungkook saw me somewhere and fell for me. That's why he wants to marry me. But I found out about his real intentions after getting married. He said, he marry me for a child. That night, my heart broke. So my innocence. Now, I am six months pregnant. He is cold. Rude. Who thinks he is always right. My not so colorful life became more black and white. As I am trapped in this golden cage. Currently, I am sipping juice while sitting in the living room. And he is barking on someone over the phone. I cleared my throat and he looked at me. I signaled him to shut up and he went to another room. Swag. Well, I don't think he will listen to me after I will give birth. So I should take advantage of the situation as much as I can. It's not like I love him or something. But sometimes I want to bite his neck and sometimes I want to beep him. Hormones. Jungkook, sweetie. He came outside. You need something? You. He started loosening his tie. All right. I want you to take me for a walk. Get my shoes. I continued sipping my juice. Martha, can you? Am I pregnant with Martha's baby? Ignored her. Bring her shoes. Sure, sir. I pretend you didn't hear me. He made her wear her shoes. Let's go. Now, I don't feel like going outside. Wayan, stop getting on my nerves. What are you gonna do? Bite me? He kept a straight face. I'm a joking. Let's go. What a busy day. You were sleeping whole day. I am so tired right now. Hmm. He started scrolling through his phone. Can you throw it in the trash can and talk to me? Hmm. What do you want to talk about? I always think you won't even look at me after I will deliver this child. And what made you think like that? Your cold nature. But my assistant calls me hot. She flirts with you. She's my sugar baby. You are gonna give me a heart attack. I'm carrying your child and this is what you are doing behind my back. I didn't do anything behind your back. It's just I haven't told you about it because you never asked. I'm gonna throw a stone on your head. But I love Minyungi. I mean, I can't band down. Hmm. Don't waste your energy. You will irritate my baby. I'm gonna run away with our watchman. You have high standards. Glad to know about that. By the way, doctors asked you not to run or do gymnastics. By the way, are you jealous? I don't understand. Why but a wave of jealousy hit my peaches after he told me about his sugar baby. I am hungry. Let's go back. We started walking back to home. Suddenly, his phone started ringing. It's his assistant. It's okay. You can have your space. I pushed him away. He chuckled and put the phone on speaker. Yes, honey. Wyan started crying. Jungkook panicked. Hey, hey, my assistant is a 48-year-old man. I was just, I want to eat a lemon sandwich. Uh, lemon? He made a disgusted face but called Martha. A uh, lemon sandwich? Sure, sir. Let's hurry up. I have to sleep later too. 
Watchman, no need to come from tomorrow. Someone was calling me jealous. Wine is eating pickles and sandwich. Jungkook is massaging her feet while cursing on someone on phone. I love my life. Ding dong. I'm taking my words back. Hey, I'm your new neighbor. Ryan? Jake? Wow, you gained weight. You used to be so skinny back then. I am pregnant. Can't you see that? Why? I thought you didn't like kids. Time change, people change. You know, I used to like you a lot in college. But one day you revealed that you don't like kids. So I decided not to confess. Oh, really? Even I had a huge crush on you. Jungkook is quietly glaring at both of them. By the way, let's hang out sometimes. I would love to. They continued talking for 6.9 minutes and Jungkook kept on burning. I think you should go now. Jake, meet my husband, Jungkook. Jake forwarded his hand. Jungkook didn't shake hands. Wine awkwardly smiled. Jungkook has some allergies on his palm. He can't shake hands. Oh, I know a good doctor. Maybe you will need him soon. He wants to say goodnight. Jake left while giving judgmental looks to JK. If he will step into my house again, I will. He won't. I will go outside. I don't know what game you are playing, Ryan. But if you meet him again, I won't be responsible for what happened next. I think I need another sandwich. Few weeks later, Ryan was lying in the bed, scrolling through memes on her phone, giggling softly. Jungkook lay beside her, scrolling through his own phone, pretending to be indifferent but sneaking glances at her. Every now and then, suddenly a sharp pain shot through her abdomen. Bono, bono, ya, what happened? Did you eat expired yogurt again? No, my tummy. Ouch, it hurts. Is it the baby? Is it time? Grab the hospital bag. Jungkook shot out of the bed, pulling open random drawers and tossing clothes everywhere. Everyone is so weird today. In the closet. Where is the closet? In the car. Slow down. I don't want to give birth in the car. Do you want me to be slow or do you want to get to the hospital? Pick one. Yungi, marry me. The delivery room. Why is that machine beeping so loudly? Is that normal? Should it be quieter? Is it broken? Calm down, my daughter. She is still scrolling through her phone. Ryan, you are about to give birth. How are you so calm? Because one of us has to be. Alright. Ryan, it's time. You are doing great. Just a few pushes and we'll meet your baby. Just hold my hand and let the doctors do their job, alright? Here is the little John. Jungkook exhaled heavily and fell on the couch. This was so stressful. I am tired. Let me wipe your sweat. I am fine. Just take care of my wife. Wyan started snoring. Never mind. He pecked Wyan's forehead. You did well. Baby started crying. Where is his mute button? Few months later. Alright, Joan Bullet, it's time for you to say your first word. No pressure, but it better be dad, correct? Repeat after me. Nam Jun. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Say Nam Jun. Yungi. That's my boy. He can't be mine. Now say mama. Baby sneezed. Get away from my son. If you
you say dada i will let you sit in my big scary mafia chair what's he gonna do take over your meetings come on little man say dada you can do it mama looks like i'm the favorite one don't worry he loves you even if he thinks i am cooler he tickled baby's feet i forgive you because you are cute but make sure to grow taller than jimin hume why and pack the baby my whole world right here what about me change his diapers i'm sick of this fake love fake love fake love yungi i love you otherwise i would have thrown you why and cleared her throat cough junko kept his head on her lap you are the only soft thing in my world of chaos baby cupped yeah you too say dada yungi marry me